in today's video, man, I want to share a clip, repost a clip uh, that the Crimson Cure responded to, and I'm pretty much gonna repost uh, the video where she's giving her response to uh, this black lady killing a woman at Church's Chicken. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, shout out to the Crimson Cure. You know, her link to her channel will be in the description. You know, the reason I repost videos like this is because, man, when you think about the preacher looking for a righteous man and a woman, amongst the thousand, man, he found one man out of a thousand men and women that was righteous. Out of that thousand, he did not find one woman. The Bible talks about how rare a virtuous woman is. And the Crimson Cure has a lot of good topics, you know, uh, that, that women can learn from and men can learn from men mostly are going to be put up on the game of how a woman operates how a lawless woman operates so you can steer clear but i'm reposting this video because this is the crimson cure is a daughter of zion that took a stance uh to try to expose the evil workings of women the hypocrisy of women and one thing about this is, if you got uh, a thousand women, chances are 999 of them will know that these are real issues and they may talk about it amongst themselves, but nobody in there is going to expose it, try to drive a solution, uh, try to give recommendations. You're not gonna get that. You know, out of that 900 and you know, out of that, you know, out of that 999, you know, out of that thousand women, you know, 999 are probably likely to see things that are dysfunctional, lawless, and wicked, and turn a, a, a blind eye to it while trying to compliment foolishness. So when I see uh, sisters like Crimson Cure getting after it, trying to check because biblically, man, the older women are supposed to be checking these younger women. And uh, the Crimson Cure, hey, she, she, she lets these women have it. Where these women want their ear tickled, uh, she lets them have it. So I appreciate her for that because you can't count on uh, these church first ladies. You can't count on uh, your mama. You can't count on your grandma, your aunties. Chances are they're part of the problem in supporting the dysfunction where they should be correcting and rebuking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that clip. Let me know what you think down in the comments about what she's talking about. Closer to y'all ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure. And this was my perspective. So we got, listen, y'all are out here crashing out over what is y'all crashing out over and you know what i'm starting to notice is it's a lot of women very deadly a lot of it's a lot more women that's being i guess it's being reported more or whatever that the women are out here shooting y'all are out here fighting shooting robbing and doing whatever, like it's more criminal activity being reported that's being perpetrated by black women. Like, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. 
But it says a dispute between a customer and a fast food worker in West Tennessee escalated into a tragic incident on Monday night when the customer allegedly shot and deleted a female employee following an argument. The deadly shooting occurred at Church's Chicken Restaurant in Memphis just before 9, p 9 10 p.m. Police were called at the scene at the Park Avenue business located approximately six miles southeast of downtown Memphis to investigate the incident. Upon arrival, police discovered a female victim who had sustained at least one wound, gunshot wound. She was promptly taken to a hospital for treatment, but was unfortunately pronounced dead due to her injuries. Now... We don't know what this argument was about, and it don't matter. But before we get into that, let me let me play the clip. For news leader four, a fast food worker is dead after police say she got into an argument with another woman in the drive-through. Now, what you're looking at right now, these are photos police release of the suspect in the Orange Mount incident before she sped away. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. Hi, I'm Shay Arthur in for April. As WREG's Dorita Patterson tells us, investigators are now trying to put a name with that face we just saw there to track down the woman wanted for pulling the trigger. At the start of a new day, police are still looking for new clues following a deadly attack. Monday night, detectives were called to this church's chicken along Park Avenue in the heart of Orange Mound. In fact, Gregory Houston holds this community close to his heart as it's where he grew up. I wish he had a house out here. It was after he tuned in to WREG. I heard about her on the news uh, last night and it was very sad. Topping your news leader for a fast food worker is dead after police say. So now they don't say that they were arguing over chicken. And by the way, this lady standing out there, she I'm kind of with the comment that says, am I the only one that feels it wasn't over her order, but that she knew that lady and intentionally shot her. See that that that's almost like, oh, I know what I found out where you were. The way she was standing there in that little picture, she wasn't arguing with that woman. Not about no chicken, she wasn't. She wasn't arguing about no chicken. She wasn't arguing about no order. They didn't get her order wrong. She didn't go in there and shoot everybody. She shot that lady, and it wasn't about no chicken, necessarily. Now, it was at a chicken spot, but probably just incidentally because that's where that woman worked, and that's where she knew she could catch her. Now, I don't know no backstory, and we're not going to assume no backstory, but that just seemed like she pulled up on the ops, whoever, for whatever whatever reason, this woman is supposedly her ops. But now, here's my thing. How y'all pulling up on each other like the thug dudes? This is... Before I get into just how ridiculous, violent, and this is the toxic masculinity. Before, listen, this is the toxic masculinity. When it's when it's toxic, it's fake masculinity because it's coming from a chick, and y'all are doing all of the stuff that a thug would do or something. This, this is what I call toxicity on a thousand. Because whatever that woman did or supposedly did, because let's not act like chicks don't be going off half cocked. Let's not act like folks don't be going off um, spinning the block around somebody on some social media beef. For all we know, they was arguing on Facebook. Like it could be any number of foolish things that led up to that. But now, they, it's not going to be hard for you f to find her. The 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 drive throughs have all kinds of cameras. They got your license plates. They, they got your face. Okay? So, you know, you're caught and you're going to jail. Not only for assault with a deadly weapon, but deletion. And, it, and they might be able to get you on murder one, depending upon the nature of this argument and why you even pulled up to that church's chicken. Because if we talking about you argued about your order, 
they 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 probably can't get her on murder murder one because that's premeditated. But if they think that if they realize that perhaps you knew this woman and y'all had some previous something going on and you pulled up to that woman's job, they might be able to get you with premeditated. That depends all on the circumstances and the evidence. Y'all be crashing out. What is with y'all? This is, listen, this why I don't fool with no bunch of females. I don't, I don't do it. Who knows what ticks y'all off? Who knows what ticks y'all off? And women be talking about women's safety. Y'all ain't safe from each other either. So we're not safe from the guys. You ain't safe from the other hyenas either. Because that ain't no man. So who you going to choose now? If it ain't between the bear and the man, and it's between one of the hyenas and the bear, which one you going to choose, the hyena or the bear? I'm Now I'm curious. Because the hyena seem like she going to blow your brains out. Don't seem like she going to have a lot of mercy. Whatever it is, this also speaks to not being able to um, resolve any conflict. No conflict resolution skills. Y'all always escalating something. You don't de-escalate. You don't know how to walk off. You don't know how to just leave it alone. You don't know how to just chalk it up. Y'all be so busy trying to quote unquote not seem like you a punk and not seem like you scary, but some stuff just don't be worth that. Some stuff don't even be worth that. Even if you tell me that you found out that this, that your, that this was the woman that your man was cheating with. So, And when I say so, y'all all play that little game with each other anyway. Y'all, this one cheat on that one, and that one cheat on the other one, and all this other kind of stuff. So I don't know what you get mad like that for. Mad enough to be trying to delete somebody. Because you deleted her. You finna go to jail, and who the dude gonna be laid up with next? So you didn't stop nothing, even if that was the case. So any, any type of situation that we could put on that, Unless that lady that that got shot, like, murked somebody else or one of her family members or something, that's the only way that you can even slightly justify that one. Other than that, other than an eye for an eye situation, like, girl, you ain't got no business pulling up, quote, unquote, on the ops, quote, unquote, and trying to delete somebody. Like, what is y'all doing? See, this is why, this why I'm going to say this one last thing, too. I'm going to say this one last thing, too. See, these chicks is dangerous out here. And it's, it's, it's not even about being scared. It's about you got to you gotta pick your battle with this stuff. Because sometimes I hear men say, well, why come when these women are out in public acting a fool, why don't the women join up to check the woman that's out of order. I'm going to tell you why. Because women do not operate the way men do. If there is a man that is publicly disruptive, let's say he, let's say he running up and down the street or let's say he in a store, right? And he messing with everybody. He, you know what I'm saying? Messing with all everybody, just unprovoked, just, you know what I'm saying? A nuisance, a menace. If it's other men in that store, you know what I'm saying? The men are going to be like, hey, man, go ahead on with that. man. Yeah, hey, you can't do that. See, and if it's more than one man, the other men will click up with the one guy that spoke out and they will come together to either remove that guy from the scene or check him somehow or whatever, right? That's how men operate. Women do not do that. Women will see another woman acting a fool. If one woman is bold enough to confront this other woman, what she has to understand is she will be confronting her by herself. So if that other woman want to throw hands, 
the woman that stepped up to check her is going to have to be willing to throw hands. And she's going to have to be willing to throw hands by herself. So if this woman is maybe with other friends that's acting a fool and one woman say something, she's going to have to be prepared to get jumped by the chicks that she's trying to talk to. Even It could be a hundred other women out there. The other women are not going to help her. They may know that she's in the right and that the other chicks was in the wrong and that they should have and that the, the other people should have been checked, but they're not going to do what men do. They're not going to group up against the chick that's acting crazy. Women women just don't operate like that the, at all. That if they don't know you, if that's not a, if that's not my friend or my sister or somebody, like I'm not confronting nobody with her. Cause because why am I trying to why am I jumping in the way to get hurt? For who? Who is the loyalty to? Nobody, because I don't know them. Right? So men just they just got a different way they think about that. Women have a completely different way they go about that. So this is why you don't see a lot of women singular, women by themselves, just seeing another woman get out of control and go to confront her. Because if this woman is a crash out Keisha that going to blow her brains out, that woman wasn't prepared for that. You know what I'm saying? She was just trying to stop her from acting a fool in the, in the corner store. Like, why are you throwing all this stuff on them? You know what I'm saying? Even if she says so, it don't matter how calm it is. So you so what you got to do is if you're going to be that that woman that's going to confront, you got to be ready to throw hands or take it to whatever level this other lady finna take it. Period. Point blank. That's just what you got to be. And know and know that even if it's 100 other women in that store, none of them women going to help you at all. They going to stand by, they going to watch, they going to record it, they going to talk about it, but they're not going to help you. Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective.